Um, yes, hello. Um, thank you. My name is Philip Kubetsky. I am one of the um, organizers, international organizer of, of CE Spring, um, together with um, volunteers from Bulgaria, Romania, Poland, and Latvia. Um, next slide, please. So what C-Spring is, is basically like it's a writing contest held in uh, 25 languages and 28 communities. Um, and it's organized on a local level. So basically every language or every community um, organizes its local contest on their Wikipedia. And we as an international team um, uh, wrote the whole thing together and, and organized like the grants. Um, application and the funding of the, the prizes that uh, are, are awarded after the, the contest is over. Um, so just to, to explain a bit more about C, um, C stands for Central and Eastern Europe. So basically like these languages include everything from German in Austria to uh, Kazakh in Kazakhstan. Um, there are some languages missing in this uh, C region, like for example uh, Czech and Slovenian. But um, in, in general, like uh, most of the major languages in this region are taking part in this contest. Um, so what Sea Spring is in particular about is, is um, setting up a contest that supports um, article creation on uh, various topics in, in the region. Like um, in your local contest, you are supposed to write about every other country besides your own. Um, which also fosters like a, a operation, a cooperation and understanding of um, among these countries, and leads to like um, a lot of um, articles relevant to to all the comedians in this region. Um, for this season, uh, for this year, we've had um, 8,900 articles created or changed, um, and that's uh, quite a lot, I would say. Um, so what else is this about? Um, it's about like creating uh, articles about shared culture and history in this region. Um, it's a region that's like been plagued by a lot of turmoil in the last hundred years, and this contest is a way of like bringing all these um, countries and communities together and fostering the understanding of each other. Um, and one of the main benefits of this contest is that like. The local organizer can focus on actually doing the interesting work. I think that's on the next slide, please. Yeah. So every every um, every local organizer is able to to focus on uh, organizing the contest itself and supporting the local volunteers instead of like having to deal with things like grants and, and funding. Um, and um, it also like um, the, the, the content itself helps like in, in reducing content gaps in uh, for marginalized groups because um, there's also a focus on writing articles about every country. So even the small communities like the Baltic uh, states or um, certain areas of Russia, which also take part as as their own communities with their own languages, um, they also um, Share the spotlight with the with the great uh, with the bigger communities like Ukraine or Poland. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, next slide, please. So, how can other people uh, from other countries uh, support this contest? Um, you can like Sea Spring is not limited to um, to Central and Eastern Europe. Um, it's possible to like. Um, Become a local organizer in your country and uh, get some funding for local prizes. The only thing that you can't do is, is create an, an article list for your country because you have to be in Central or Eastern Europe to, to be able to do that. Um, but like we're all always happy to have um, communities outside of uh, Central and Eastern Europe also uh, contribute to this contest. Um, in the past we've had Iran and Arabic uh, take part. Um, and yeah, like there's always room, even if you're not in those countries, to to um, contribute to the article lists and and other aspects of the of the contest in in a particular uh, Wikipedia. So what's next for Sea Spring? 
Um, there's always 2019. Um, because Sea Spring like was run from uh, March 21st until the end of May, um, we've already done our project basically. Um, but we're always like we're already um, starting to plan for 2019 and trying to rope in more communities. I think one aspect that Sea Spring um, is missing is definitely like smaller minority languages that don't have their own country or own big community. Um, so that's definitely something we're going to focus on in the next few years. Okay.